For me, minimalism is about contradictions. And I'll tell you why. Well, here's my example. Here's my uh, contradiction in practice. I'm about to make a coffee with this good trusty old coffee machine. And what's cool about this place is they have this foam, uh, this foamer. So you put the milk in here and it makes nice, creamy, foamy milk. But I prefer to use ha uh, oat milk with my coffee. So I put some oat milk in here. But what I also really love to do is that I love to put butter in my coffee because, well, I won't get into why, but I just love it. I love the combination of butter and some sort of milk. But I actually prefer oat milk compared to normal milk. So what the fuck am I doing? Milk is made from butter. So why am I combining butter with oat milk? Why don't I just use normal milk and get it over and done with? I don't fucking know, but the fact is I prefer oat milk and butter. This is how I like it. And it's uh, nonsensical in a way, but that's just one of the many contradictions I have to live with on a daily basis. And uh, yeah, well, not completely so related to minimalism, but you can find many contradictions in minimalism. Like the big one for me, minimalism isn't about having the least amount of possessions. I think, and I've said it before on this channel, you can be a maximalist and a minimalist. You can have lots of possessions, but also be minimalism, minimalist in mind. So yeah, if you have a lot of value attributed to your possessions, then it gets out of hand. But if you're happy just to let them go, but have a lot of possessions at any one time, that's true minimalism for me. Hope you enjoyed it.